Hello guys, and today we have a pretty interesting watch on the channel. This is the Sega X-Series Grade 8. This is in the orange and black version. There are two different versions. This watch was sent in. I do get to keep it. You will see that sponsored icon up in the top left of the screen. And it's just a pretty interesting watch. Uh, Sega has won a lot of awards in a lot of different fields for producing unique watches, and this is definitely one of their most unique watches. Um, has a really interesting, you know, exhibition case bag or a see-through case, completely skeletonized watch. Uh, it's clear from both sides, top and bottom. It's a square case design, and it's pretty cool. It's blacked out with orange anodized alumi aluminum, uh, which is quite interesting. And uh, the box is also pretty cool. Taking a look at the box, you can see it's kind of like a white cardboard box. You can see the watch through there. There's a little slot where you can put the watch and the two straps it comes with. A little information about the watch and all of the uh, design awards they won. And some specifications, so pretty cool packaging. Now the watch itself is definitely a bigger watch, I must admit that. It comes in at $360 US dollars. This is the Sega Great Ape series, like I stated. It's 48 millimeters squared. So you're looking at 48 lug to lug, and you're looking at 48 millimeters across. Now it's relatively thin at 12 millimeters, so it's really not that bad. You get a pair of 22 millimeter lugs there. You get a sapphire crystal on the front. On the back side, you get a hardened mineral crystal, uh, which is pretty interesting. There's also an interesting shock system on this watch, uh, which allows the watch to have more, you know, shock resistance, I should say, uh, which is pretty cool. There's also an interesting movement inside of it. Um, so yeah. Let's take a closer look. Obviously from the front of the watch you can see that X going across the dial right there, which is actually loomed. I'll get you loom shot towards the end of the video. So you can really see the inner workings of the actual movement. There's a little loom on the tip of the hands. We get a nice orange sweeping seconds hand there. You see the balance wheel going off over here, mainspring to, that winds over here. So when you actually wind the watch from this kind of rubberized crown here, which is pull and push by the way, you can actually see all the parts moving which is pretty cool. It is already running, I don't want to overwind it, but you get the point. One position here, and then we can set the time. Now it's going to be a little hard to set the time precisely because there are no markings, as you can see on the watch, besides my fingerprint over there. Um, so you're going to have to kind of start like this at 12. If you, have, if you obviously set it at 12, you're going to have no issue. And if you want to set it at 1, that would be 1. And you go around again another hour, that would be 2, and etc. Obviously 30 is directly in the middle down here and 12 is over here, 3 o'clock is over here, and 6 o'clock is over there. So it's going to be a little hard to set precisely, um, perfect, perfectly, I should say, perfectly. Um, that's just something you have to deal with, with a watch that looks as interesting as this. Um, but yeah, heading to the case side, we can see what's inside of this watch. So it's actually an interesting movement. It's supposedly a, a movement made by them, designed by Sega. Uh, customized movement. The movement number is actually stated right on the rotor C001. And it's actually not a badly finished movement. There are no specks of dust. There are no badly finished parts or anything like that, uh, which is nice to see. Uh, the movement itself beats at 3 hertz, has hand winding and hacking as you just saw. Has around a 40 hour power reserve. And uh, yeah, I believe it has about 25 joules. And yeah, there's really not much more information on this movement. Obviously, you get a hollowed out rotor there, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's an automatic movement produced in somewhere in Asia or China or Hong Kong, I suppose. Uh, it's not a Swiss made movement, but it's movement produced by Sega. Anyway, there's actually a shock system on this watch right here. If I can get you in here, you can really see when, you, when it's on the wrist and it's bumping up and down, it moves. You see that moving? That's pretty cool. There's actually springs loaded on each corner of the actual watch, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I thought that was interesting. Just something really interesting. I know there are a couple other brands that do that, but not at this price point. So I think they really knocked that one out of the park. Um, the case itself is completely blacked out, solid 316L stainless steel. The aluminum parts are the orange parts, such as the crown and the screwed on plate over here, which is anodized aluminum, which is pretty cool to, can, um, you know, to put aluminum and stainless steel together. Just an interesting way of doing things. Now the strap itself is a custom Sega band. It's a silicone, it's not real rubber. And as you can see, it does say Sega design. They did do a custom roller buckle here with their logo and stainless steel. And then, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. On the back, I believe it's quick release. You get quick release so you can change it out. No issues there. It does come with another kind of two-piece uh, NATO strap as well. 
Um, but yeah, I want to see what the loom looks like because it's an X and I think that'll, that'll look pretty cool. Obviously, it's not loom that's going to help you read the time. Besides the loom on the hour and the minutes hand, that will help you read the time in the dark. Um, but the X loom is kind of just to, you know, mark the Sega X series. And there you can see the loom is pretty cool. It's an X. And the loom actually on the hand, uh, the tips of the hour and minute hand is pretty good. I must say, um, it definitely glows at night. You can definitely really see it. You see that X right there. It's pretty cool. Uh, so not so bad. Obviously, it's not a dive watch. It's not, uh, you know, a, you know, chronograph even. It's a interesting watch. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the loom. It's not that bad. I have a 6.5 inch wrist, and obviously, as you can tell, this watch is a little too big for me. Um, it's not too big lug to lug. It's just too big wide at 48 millimeters diameter. I meaning from here to here. If they slimmed it down a little bit to like 44, where it'd be kind of over here, a square, I think it would fit me perfectly, and I'd love to wear this thing, but it's just a little too big for me. Um, the band, I must say, is extremely comfortable. Um, it is very comfortable. It has a neat little design on it. And all in all, it's just a fun-looking watch. Obviously, it's kind of following the path of Richard Mill and all those interesting, you know, skeletonized watches. Kind of uh, more, you know, high-end horology watches as well. And But it's making it affordable, and that's what they're doing. They're doing it in an affordable kind of, you know, Asian way meaning Asian, they're produced in Hong Kong or they're produced in China, you know, at a much more affordable price, obviously, um, than something that's Swiss produced. Um, so that's what they're kind of, you know, that's what the kind of their main thing, it seems. Um, but yeah, the finishing on the case is very smooth and nice. Um, there are no errors or anything like that with the finishing or the DLC coating. Everything looks pretty nice. The movement actually looks very high end. Uh, if they probably put Swiss made on there. You probably would not know the difference. Right, and I'm sure there are a lot of brands that do put Swiss made on their movements, and maybe they're not even Swiss made, or their watches as well. I know a lot of brands do put Swiss made on their watch in China, and they're not even Swiss made. So there's a lot of brands that do that. Um, not a lot, but there are some, and they get away with it because there's no Swiss police running around the whole country uh, checking where your watches are produced, or movements are installed, etc. But anyway, guys. Yeah, I'm going to show you the other band. Not really my style. Um, I think it looks a lot better on this kind of rubber band. It's a kind of a sporty watch, obviously. It's a watch that you're going to get a lot of compliments on, and people are kind of going to wonder, you know, what's on your wrist. But uh, the two-piece NATO band is in bad quality, but it's just not my style. As I just stated, it's a pretty decent quality band. It has quick release. It has two uh, keepers here. Then you have the custom roller buckle here, which is signed with Sega. Um, it's not, I would say it's flexible. It's pretty flexible. Quick release. Uh, it's not bad. Obviously, some people like, uh, you know, two-piece NATOs and such. I'm more with the one-piece or a single-piece. I think it's much more um, convenient considering, you know, it actually helps you. You know, if one spring bar fails, your watch isn't going to stay on your wrist um, on a real NATO end. But anyway, uh, that's just the other strap it comes with, which is nice, you know, for an extra throw-in. So that's pretty much it, guys. I think uh, there's a lot of upside to this watch. You're getting a custom movement. You're getting a really interesting-looking watch. It doesn't look like a Richard Miller or anything like that. It doesn't kind of follow the path of any other, you know, popular Swiss brands. The only thing I wish is they make a smaller version, uh, maybe at 44 millimeters and 48 lug-to-lug. -lug. I'd love to rock that thing all day. Um, but, yeah, a really cool watch, very well-made. Uh, construction is perfect. No errors on my end. So uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. This is Watch Addiction Watch. Where you can find helpful links down there. You can find the Sega link to their uh, Amazon, where they're selling on Amazon, I suppose. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. A lot of info and content coming up real soon. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.